What's going on Card Pack? Today we're going to talk about the top 10 football cards that went up the most over the last seven days. There's some interesting ones on here, plus I feel like we're actually kind of getting to a time of the year, time of the season, that we should be looking at football cards and really starting to think about some that we may want to invest in for the short term. Now, before we dive into that, a couple reminders. Um, the audios from these videos can be found on the podcast, link in description. And as we go through these cards, I'll do buy, sell, hold. The ones that I think are buys, I'll send out to the Card Pack newsletter before I publish this video. So join that. It's free. Link in description. And if you want my top, top, top sports card picks that you're not going to find anywhere else, join the Sports Card Society, sportscardsociety.com. There's a private Discord group, too, with some very active, smart sports card investors. So check that out. Link in description. All right, number 10 on the list. We're in the market movers tool, of course. I pulled up football and the grade PSA 10 because PSA 10s, man, that's where it's at. Everything starts at the PSA 10. So number 10 on the list is Lamar Jackson. His 2018 Classics, number 209 base, pop count of 195. If you're newer to this, pop count means this card in this grade. That's how many of them currently exist. So it's up 60% on the week. Let's pull up the chart here. Good old market movers. Happy Saturday to you, by the way, if you're watching this on the day. This, that's the day I'm recording anyways. I guess I don't know when you're watching it. So here's this Lamar Jackson here. So it's him and his Louisville. How do you say it? I say Louisville. If you're from this place, you'll say Louisville. Louisville? Maybe that's just what I should say is Louisville. Because that's how the people that live there say it. But I don't have that accent, so who knows? Um, this card started the week at 35 bucks, ended the week at 56. By the way, this tool I'm using here is the market movers tool. Easily the most important thing I use in sports card investing. I'll put a link for it in the description with, along with a discount code. If you use code society, you'll get 20% off your first month or your first year, whichever subscription you choose. I'm not interested in this card. I mean, Lamar Jackson, someone I'm interested in just for the kicks of it. Let's pull back 90 days. Just see where it's been. I don't, I'm not so interested in college jersey cards. This thing's kind of all over the place, sort of. I'm just not interested in it. I would probably hold it, though, but I wouldn't be buying it. I'd, I'd be looking to buy something else, Lamar Jackson, probably. Clyde Edwards Alaire, number nine on the list, his 2020 Mosaic Pink Camo. Pop count of only 120, up 63% on the week. Let's chart it, baby. Be sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button too while you're at it if you haven't yet. Uh, $12 to start the week. $33 to end the week. Let's pull it back 90 days. Clyde, I'd imagine he'll be coming back to play soon. But boy, the Chiefs have been surprisingly not as good, right? I don't know what's going on there. Um, $59, about $60 90 days ago. Looks like it hit a bottom of about $12. And now it's sitting around $33 maybe. I don't know if I would be buying this. I would probably hold it, though, because I think it's just kind of down around its bottom. Clyde's not playing, stuff like that. I think I would probably hold it, because I still think the Chiefs make the playoffs. And then and I also think they get it together more by the end of the season. Next on the list, Tom Brady. I'm not sure who that is. Have you heard of him before? His 2000 Skybox Impact number 27 base, pop count of only 951, so it's a rookie card, of course, up 76% on the week. Let's, take, let's dive into the chart and look closer at that. Because it may be up 76% on the week, but we're probably going to have to zoom out to see the actual trajectory. 1900 bucks to start the week, 3800 to end the week. Quite a nice game. This is him and his, well, this is Michigan. This is, this is Michigan, right? I mean, I don't see it on the helmet, but this has got to be his Michigan gear. Um, let's pull back 90 days. 90. Yeah, so uh, that might have just been a, a weird one-off sale. I think the real value of this card is somewhere around $2,300. Tom Brady, man, I don't know, you know, love him or hate him, it doesn't really matter. Um, his cards are about as solid as it gets. He's you know, Here we were kind of at the bottom here when he pulled this back a whole year. So June, that makes sense that June would be about the bottom of this card. And it's just been slowly going up. Let's back 180 days. We'll get a zoom in on that a bit. But the high here was around 4,000. So this card went for as high as about 4,000 bucks. And you can see over the course of the last 180 days, you can see how it's just slowly ticking up. That's what I like to see in cards. And Tom Brady, about as safe as an investment as it gets, right? 
I mean, he's seven Super Bowl rings. Love him or hate him, he's got a good argument for being the goat of goats. You might get butthurt about that. I don't care because it's fact. He could be the goat of goats. It's very arguable. If you want to argue from that point on, he's in the conversation, period, end of sentence. From that on, it's just kind of preference or opinion. Next on the list. So would I be a buy on this? Shit, would I be a buy on this? Let's look closer. I didn't even think about it. Let's pull, let's pull back up real quick. Mm -hmm -hmm. I wouldn't be a buy up there, but we pulled back 90 days. Because the thing is, as we get into, when we get to about mid-December, football cards usually take off for the players whose teams look like they're going to be in the playoff picture. Because who who, by then you can pretty much tell who's going to be in the playoffs. You can tell there's a lot of teams that you can tell will be in the playoffs. Um, like if we pull this card back, let's go back 365 days, which I did before, but I should have shown you this. So here we are at this time last year, right? Under a thousand bucks. But as we get closer and closer to the playoffs, here it goes. Boom, 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 boom. And he won the Super Bowl and all that. But as you, but as you can see, like as we got here into like, because here we are at the bottom. Here we are right now anyways, around seven, nine hundred bucks. As you see, as we get into the playoffs, it gets well over a thousand, twelve hundred bucks. And he's not even close to the Super Bowl at this point. He's got mm, maybe two games to go, but you'll see it a lot more. But he's Tom Brady, you know. So a lot of players, their cards will go up your younger ones, say like Josh Allen or something like that, or Patrick Mahomes took off a lot more. But as we get there and the playoff picture becomes more clear, players' cards go up, and it's nice to get a little profit. I wouldn't suggest getting too greedy, but again, Tom Brady can't go too wrong with that. So I think, how could I not be a buy on Tom Brady? Let's go to eBay real quick. I think I'd like to find this card for, let's go back to 30 days again. Pop count of under 1,000. Only 951 of these cards in existence. Tom Brady rookie card. I mean, come on. So I think I'd want to buy this card for, yeah, probably under 2,300 if I can, if I can find it. Let's see, let's see what we can find. Oh, there's a pack, maybe you got one in there. There's an auction going on. That's interesting. That's not ending for a while though. And that one, these are all auctions. Now this one's already up to 1275. This one's up to 1425 already. So interesting. Very interesting. You think people like 2000 already? Okay, so no, we can make an offer here. Maybe get it for under 2300 But I like these auctions too. I will include a link in the description to this card because I'd be a buy on it. Next on the list, Amari Cooper, 2015 Topps Chrome Base, pop count of 252, up 77%. Um, Amari Cooper, is that somebody that I want to get in right now? What I, what I want to say about the football cards is if you really think someone's going to make the playoffs, now's a good time to get them because they're down. This is this is the, the mid-season dip. It's what happens like every time. And then as we get close to the playoffs, Teams that are getting in the playoffs, those players, cards go up. 26 bucks to start the week, 46 to end the week. I'll tell you right now, I'm not I'm not a buy. I'll be buying quarterbacks for the most part. Mari Cooper and the Raiders, I just don't feel confident in them. They got a new coach and everything. I, I might hold that, but I'm not buying it. Next on the list, Aaron Rodgers, 2005 Upper Deck Rookie Premier, pop count of 1247, up 87%. Let's pull up the chart here. Now, again, what's really interesting is, you know, this is Aaron Rodgers. Packers look really, really good. They had a terrible first game. And me as a Vikings fan, I was very excited for how absolutely terrible they looked in game one. But they haven't looked anywhere near that. They've looked very, very good ever since. Uh, so this card started the week at 178, ends the week at 334. Let's pull back 90 days because that's quite a gain there. Yeah. So this card's kind of all over. I think if you could get it for... 275 or less, I think that's probably a good buy because again, pretty sure the Packers are going to make the playoffs. They're probably going to win the division. Um, and I'm a Vikings fan, I'm saying that because we're not going to win the division. We might, if we get lucky, sneak in on a wild card spot. And even then, we'll lose in round one because we're just not good. That is much higher than I wanted to pay. 
so they're going off of this most recent sale. I think, you know, so I couldn't be a buy on this right now. Because even though I think this car could be, I think it could be 700 plus. But I would just probably look for a different Aaron Rodgers card, one that's more market value. Current market value, not future. Tyree Kill next on the list, 27, 2016 Optic Base. Excuse me, pop count of 158, up 90% on the week. Let's see what the charts have to say. Hit that like button if you haven't yet. Check out the links in the description too. Some good stuff in there. Let's see, 71 bucks to start the week. 150 to end the week. Let's pull back 90 days, boys and girls. Mostly boys, I'm sure mostly boys. Probably three girls that listen to this, maybe tops. Um, yeah, I'm just not interested. I'm not interested in Tyreek. Next on the list, James Conner. Do we really need to look at that? I don't think so. We'll pull up the chart real quick. Okay. James Conner. Hmm, he's not, no, that's not someone I want a part of. I can tell you right now, no matter what, I'm not buying it. The question is, should I sell it? Um, what happened here? Let's pull back 90 days. This is his 2017 Prism Silver, by the way. Sell it. <laughs> no, just kidding. You could sell it, but you could hold it too because I'm pretty sure the Cardinals will make the playoffs. Next on the list, Cam Akers, 2020 Mosaic Red. No idea why he went up because he's, not even, he's out for the season. Why would I buy this? Why am I even pulling up this chart right now? I pass. Next on the list, Gardner Minshew. Now that's more interesting. 2019 Select Concourse. Pop count of 189, up 133%. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the chart here. If you don't have this market movers tool or some kind of data tool, you need to get one. Okay. Link for this and a discount code in the description. But if you don't have want to get a different one, get a different one. But you gotta have one. Um, although I think this is definitely the best one. Gardner Minshew, cool. Minshew Mania, come making a comeback maybe. Starts the week at $12, ends the week at $28. Let's pull back 90 days. Yeah, I'd probably sell that. <laughs> I would sell that. Next on the list, Tom Brady. And this will be number one on the list. 2015 Prism Base. Pop count of only 86. So it's not a rookie card because it's from 2015. Up 147% on the week though. Let's take a look. You know, Tom Brady has two different cards on this list. That means something. Let's see here. TB12, 85 bucks to start the week, 210 to end the week. Let's pull back 90 days. It's quite a gain in a week. So this card's kind of all over the place. Interesting. I don't think this would be a Tom Brady card I would buy either. Although, you know, not a bad one to have. I'd probably still hold it though. Because I think anything Tom Brady as the playoffs come around, it's going to go up. You know, why wouldn't it? So I only had one buy on this list. And it was this Tom Brady rookie here, right? Because we got some good auctions going on. We can make an offer on this one here. The goal would be to get it for under 2300 I think this card's got a good chance of being 4000 plus by the time uh, playoffs kick off and everything. But other than that, links for everything in the description. The Society, Mark Movers Tool, all that stuff. Hit the like button, the follow button. Happy mid-football season. There's a lot more fun to come. All right. Stay classy. You're awesome.